And hello, wherever you happen to be, our action comes to you from Turf Moor here on the northwest of England. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Burnley versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And a look at the starting lineup for Burnley. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough for the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield and leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. Thank you for attending today's game at Turf Moor today. Enjoy the match. And now they get the ball rolling. Saka. And players waiting in the centre. Well, not quite the cross he was hoping for. Jay Rodriguez. Cullen, Charlie Taylor, not the pass he had in mind, it's a weighted pass, and nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done, we're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Lovely ball. Credit to them for winning back possession. Gabriel Jesus. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Making a bit of headway. Corner kick given to Arsenal. Played over. That is how to apply the pressure. Johan Berg Goodmanson. Redmond. He's lost it. Redmond, Rodriguez, and it's Connor Roberts. Really important piece of last ditch defending. He's done remarkably well to get himself forward here, Gabriel Jesus. Marcinelli. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Dangerous looking attack. Well, trying to place it, but without any great success. Well, maybe went for the wrong technique. If he'd have hit it with power, may have got a better result. That's a poor effort, really. 
Johan Berg Goodmanson. Brownhill. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Gabriel Jesus. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Can they forge ahead? Foiling his opponent completely. Jay Rodriguez. Goodmanson. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Could be! And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. A sloppy pass. Gabriel Martinelli. Now Zinchenko. Martinelli. And now Havertz. Spot on with that tackle. Goodmanson. Johan Berg, Goodmanson. It's opening up for them. Well, as you can see, Arsenal had most of the ball. But unless they start passing it with more penetration, they'll struggle to win this game, which will be a major disappointment. That's right, and priority number one here is to win the ball back. Can he give them the lead? Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Declan Rice. Kai Havertz. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Marcinelli. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Redmond. Goodmanson. Redmond. Great pressure to win the ball back. Rodriguez. Cullen. Goodmanson. Surely. And the referee's whistle, we're at the halfway mark now, here at Turf Moor. Gabriel Jesus, normally so productive, but not at all in this game for whatever reason, Stuart. Well, he's had no real impact on the game so far. Yes, he's been tightly marked, but he has to work hard to make things happen. He's been really disappointed. Potentially one to savour. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Rodriguez. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Saka. Gabriel Jesus still passing it around with authority well they couldn't keep that sequence going unfortunately Gabriel Jesus can they hit on the break not the pass he had in mind Declan Rice Martinelli Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Real 
real chance. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. And played short. Can he find the net? Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Josh Brownhill. Johan Berg Goodmanson. Well, that is how to play advantage. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. William Saliba. Perfectly positioned to take it away. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Redmond. Oh, a goal! Well, maybe we shouldn't be surprised. They were asking for trouble with their passive approach. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. One nil then. Number 15, Nathan Bukayo Saka. Well, they know they need to stop him. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, as you can see, Burnley haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. More defending for them to do here, though. Arsenal struggling to keep the ball. That's very effective, good high pressing. Jay Rodriguez. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. Redmond. Cullen. Redmond. And it might be. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Gabriel Martinelli. Well, a classic example. And this would reduce the deficit. And there is the goal! Wow, that changes the equation. And they have the momentum him now well as you can see he hits this with so much power but just look at the follow through so athletic that's a dynamic strike On they go again, and that goal for Arsenal means they can now entertain thoughts of perhaps drawing level. Just 15 minutes remaining. And possession lost, intercepted. Declan Rice. And that's how to dispossess your opponent. Alexander Zinchenko. 
Space and time for Arsenal. Rice. Well, they get themselves level here. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Is it going to be? Well, that surely would have put this game to bed. Well, definitely. That would have won the game for them. That's a bad miss. And they will make the change now. Gabriel on to Jorginho Declan Rice Jorginho well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Breaking at pace. Declan Rice. Martin Odegaard. Trossard. And clears his lines. It's been whipped towards the near post. It is now with Jorginho. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Charlie Taylor. Goodmanson. Well, he could really get at the opposition. But they dealt with the threat first. So the final whistle now, and disappointment for Arsenal, you've got to say. A defeat for them. Your assessment? Yes, Derek. They were well off their usual standards today. And with the quality that they have in their squad, I think it's fair for the fans to demand more. Too many bystanders for me, just not good enough. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well. He scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.